Hello, everybody. We are uh, we are waiting a little bit to get started for a few more people to join us. So hang tight. Hope everyone's doing well today. It's going to be a fun one. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, The Best of Transportation Trivia. My name is Melissa Zampatella, and I'm your moderator for today's session. I serve as the director of the Alewife TMA, which is a program managed by Transaction Associates. Joining me are my colleagues Kelly Marsacci and Julie Quinn, who will be assisting with facilitating our webinar today. So, if this is your first webinar, I want to tell you a little bit about Transaction. We are a full service uh, consulting, transportation consulting company based in Woburn, Mass. We manage regional groups called Transportation Management Associations or TMAs, and we work with major employers and other clients to manage on site transportation uh, and commuter programs. Everything that we do is centered around decreasing traffic congestion, improving air quality, and reducing the number of single occupant vehicles on the road through promoting shared transportation modes. And we also have a shuttles division of our company. So today we are very excited to introduce you to our professional game show host, Rob Lassi. Rob writes and produces a smart show, which is SMRT and it streams live on Twitch Tuesdays through Fridays at 8.30 p.m. and is open to the public or anyone that wants to join his show. So if you have fun today, definitely check his public shows out. A um, Couple of housekeeping items before we get started. If you happen to have any questions or comments, please use the chat section um, on the sidebar of your screen. And one of the facilitators will get back to you as soon as possible. And then after this webinar, we will send you an email with a link to the recording and a brief survey that we kindly ask you to fill out. So who's ready to test their knowledge on transportation trivia and win some great prizes? Okay, let's get started. Take it away, Rob. All right, everybody. Thank you so much, Melissa. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we're going to get this game started. Welcome to Smart Trivia. My name is Rob. I am your host. So again, I mentioned earlier, but in order to play the game, the first thing you need to do is go to crowd.live from any browser, preferably the one you're not watching the game on right now. Um, yeah, go to crowd.live and enter a five-letter code. It's QX. TXU, and you can see if you are uh, on the screen that's uh, scrolling, it'll be right there at the bottom. Yeah, QXTXU is the code. Um, yeah, just got to go in, sign up. Uh, all you need to do is enter a nickname, enter your email address, the email address you used to sign up for today's webinar, and you are in it to win it just like that. We've got 20 questions for for you all transportation themes so we got some like you know fun facts some did you knows as well as you know pop culture trivia music movies tv sports all that fun stuff so yeah a lot of stuff pop peppered in there a lot of fun things a lot of fun facts we're gonna have a great time i'm sure uh yeah let's see all right give everybody another couple minutes to get in the game we have a solid crowd so far all right i'm excited hope you guys are ready for some fun too So the way the game is going to work is that I'm going to ask a question. Once I've asked the question on your phones or whatever device you're using to play the game along with, whatever whatever you're using to play along, after I've asked the question, your multiple choices will appear. Then the 45-second timer will kick in. You have 45 seconds to pick your answer. The faster you click, the more points you score. As each multiple choice answer pops up, the timer countdown then begins. So again, the faster you click, the more you score. Um, but if you click on the wrong answer, you're not going to get any points, but you don't lose points if you get the wrong answer. So if you don't know, it doesn't hurt to guess this time around. So. We're gonna give it another minute or two. If everybody's ready, everybody in the chat, let me know how you're doing. Everybody wanna leave us a shout out, say hi, feel free. We'll definitely let you know, let me know how you're doing.
All right, guys. So we're going to get the game started in just another minute or two. Again, um, just got to go to that crowd.live site, QXTXU. And yeah, we'll give it one more minute and we'll get the game started. So again, the best way to play, you have to have another device ready to rock in your hands. Um, yeah, and as I ask the question, the multiple choices will appear after I finish reading the question, give or take a few seconds, depending on timing. But yeah, so I'm going to read the question, your multiple choice answers. And again, the faster you click, the faster you select that answer, the more points you score. So, and whoever has the most points at the end of 20 questions wins. Uh, there are a couple of fun fact, did you know questions that are only worth five points? Uh, whereas every other question is worth a maximum of 250 points. There are a couple of just little fun facts, did you knows that are about transaction associates that are just thrown in there, just little five pointers that if you get them right, it's a tiebreaker more than anything else. So those will be peppered in there too, but, and uh, yeah. Yep, and if you see there, the pro tip in the chat, exactly, that's how you want to play the game. Um, if you've ever played like Jackbox Party Pack games where you have the screen in front of you and you play along with your phone as the input device, yeah, you just, that's, it's almost like a video game where you have a controller, but instead of a controller, you're just using a phone or a separate browser. I know I personally, I have a dual display on my desktop, so I'll use the one browser tab on one display and a second browser tab on another display and do it that way. So if you're running a dual display, it'll work like that too. All right, we're going to get the game started in just another second. All right. So again, give it another minute. All right, oh wow, we got, oh wow, a bunch more people just jumped in. Okay, right, so we'll give another couple, few more seconds, guys. Thanks for your patience, for waiting around. Everybody jumping in, welcome to the game. Thank you for being here again. My name is Rob, I am your host. Welcome to Smart Trivia, Transportation Trivia, uh, transportation trivia Thursday uh, compliments of transaction associates thank you so much for them for bringing me on to make this happen for you guys uh, yeah again to play the game use any other browser any other tab uh, I personally like to use a phone uh, have a second device just go to crowd.live from any browser and then enter the five letter code and you can see it scrolling at the bottom of the window I'm sharing qxtxu qxtxu All right. Okay, guys, we are going to get this game started. I think we got a good solid crowd. It's 10 after. We're going to get it going. So, again, it's trivia time. The way to play, again, have your phones ready to go. So I'm going to hit the play button. I'm going to start the game. The question is going to pop up on your screens. I'm going to read the question, and then your multiple choices are going to pop up on your phones or whatever device that you use to log in and join the game. The faster you click, the more points you score. Good luck, everybody. Question number one. Here we go. Hope you guys are ready for it again. I'm going to start this game. Question number one is popping up on the screen. There it is. What does MBTA stand for? What does MBTA stand for? Here are your multiple choices. Again, you have 45 seconds now to come up with your answer. Again, it's one of these four, one of these five choices. Five choices for you. Again, A, B, C, or D. Massachusetts Bay Transportation Agency, Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority, Metro Boston Transit Authority, Massachusetts Bay Trans Atlantic, Massachusetts Bay Transport Association. Transport Association, excuse me. Yeah, five choices coming at you. Which one is it? Question number one, first one of the game. You got about 20 seconds left. Time is counting down. Again, 45 seconds to answer each one. If you're just jumping in the game, come on, it's not too late. You can definitely score points on this first question. Question number one, what does MBTA stand for? All right, and three, two, one. And live answer results with 78% of the people saying Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority, or sorry, Massachusetts Bay Transit Association. That's right, B was the correct answer. Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority. Yes, Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority. Question number one, that's it. Way to be everybody, that's how the game works. 78% of y'all scored points on that one and that's how it goes, all right, and that's it. So yeah, question number one. Done. Question number two coming at you again, ready for it. I'm going to read the question and then those multiple choices will pop up. Here we go. Second question of the game. 
Who sang the song Last Train to Clarksville, first released in 1966? Again, who sang the song Last Train to Clarksville, first released in 1966? The Beatles, the Mamas and the Papas, the Monkeys, the Who, Jefferson Airplane, A, B, C, D, or E. Again, time is counting down. The faster you click, the more points you score. Second question of the game. All right. All right, question number two, just about 10 seconds left. Again, who sang the song Last Train to Clarksville, first released in 1966? Second question of the game. Good luck, guys. Time is running out. And just like that, all right. And live answer results, 89% said the monkeys, 89% of the people playing right now just got that one correct. Way to be, yeah, that's right. And you can see there in the picture, that's the monkeys, Davy Jones, Peter Tork, yeah, Mickey Dolenz, you know it. Way to be if you knew question number two was the monkeys. All right, this third question now, this is going to be one of those fun facts. Did you know this one is only worth five points? So no big deal if you got it wrong. But hey, guess what? It's a fun one. Question number three. Here you go. Does your organization have a dedicated transportation coordinator or commuter service program planner? Does your organization, think about you, does your organization have a dedicated transportation coordinator or commuter service program planner? A, B, or C, yes, no, I don't know. Your organization, think about it. You got about 45 seconds. Again, it's only a five-pointer, so not a lot of points for this one. Going to be a tiebreaker if you get it right. So think about it. Your organization, does your organization have a dedicated transportation coordinator or commuter service program planner? Question number three. You got about 15 seconds. Think about it. Think it over. All right, time is just about up. Question number three. And the correct answer is yes. Yes, you're correct. And uh, that's actually a trick question. So everybody here on the line today, you all have a program manager. Transaction Associates, they manage regional groups called TMAs, Transportation Management Associations, as well as commuter programs for pri private clients. So each commuter on today's call, every single one of y'all, if you can hear my voice, you have a dedicated person that can help you with your commute. So if you don't know how to connect, contact your commuter services, please send a message in the chat, drop us a line right now, or reply to the follow-up email we send after the webinar, and we'll get you in touch with your commuter services. So again, every single person right now, if you can hear my voice, the answer is yes. Yes, you have a dedicated transportation coordinator or a commuter service program planner ready to go at your disposal, at your service. So yeah, we will send out an email afterwards, definitely reply to that, or you can drop a line in chat right now. We can reach out to you and let you know, and make sure that you guys are making full advantage of the services available to you. So. That's question number three. Let's keep this game rolling. Question number four coming at you. Fourth question of the game. Again, this one's worth points. So here we go. This is another trivia question for reals. What was the nickname given to former Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers halfback 2015 Hall of Fame inductee Jerome Bettis? Again, what was the nickname given to former Pittsburgh Steelers halfback 2015 football Hall of Fame inductee Jerome Bettis? Question number four. What do you got for me? Time is running out. There's a picture of him. You can see him. What was his nickname? All right, about 20 seconds left. Again, you get a 45-second timer to answer the questions. The faster you answer, the faster you click, the more points you score. And if you don't know it, hey, take a guess. There's no, no, no deductions for wrong answers today. All right, question number four. Time is running out. Again, what was the nickname given to that former Pittsburgh Steelers Hall of Fame halfback? And almost everybody guessed the bus, but just over half of y'all saying it. And yeah, that's right. It was the bus. Jerome Bettis, the bus. Guys, it's transportation trivia. If you don't know an answer and something looks like a mode of transportation, it just might be the right one. So there you go. That's question number four. Transportation trivia. Yeah, Jerome Bettis' nickname. Of course it was the bus. All right, that's number four. Let's keep this rolling. Question number five. Everyone, look alive. Here we go. Question number five coming at you. Which of the following colors is not one of the MBTA subway lines. Again, which one of the following colors? You're going to see five choices. Which one of the following colors is not one of the MBTA subway lines? The faster you click, the more you score. 45 seconds. Which one of these five choices? Again, which one is not 
is not one of the MBTA subway lines. Question number five, which one of the following colors is not one of the MBTA subway lines? All right, just about 10 seconds left. Again, the faster you click, the more you score. Good luck to you. Hopefully you've got your answers in by now. Time is running out. All right, five, four, three, and yeah, time is up. And 100%, all right, way to be. Everybody knew it, everybody got this one right. The gray line is not an MBTA subway line. Way to go, everybody getting that one right. Points going out. Excellent, excellent way to be. All right, cheers, everyone. Awesome, that's question number five. Let's roll this game right on into question number six. This is a movie question for you. Sometimes referred to as Die Hard on a Bus, what is the title of the 1994 action blockbuster starring Keanu Reeves and Dennis Hopper? Again, question number six, sometimes referred to as Die Hard on a Bus. What is the title of that 1994 action blockbuster starring Keanu Reeves and Dennis Hopper? Question number six, what do you got for me, guys? It's getting warm out there. It's definitely staying hydrated. Hope you guys are too. Question number six. Movie question again, sometimes referred to as Die Hard on a Bus. Yeah, about 10 seconds left to go. Get those answers in, everyone. All right, time is up, and 93%, almost everybody got this one right. And yeah, speed, that's right. Die Hard on a Bus, Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, Dennis Hopper, uh, Jeff Daniels is in that one too. Classic 90s action movie, so much fun. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Highly recommend. Fun movie all around. Uh, yeah. Pop quiz hot shot. If you didn't know, now you do. That's question number six. Question number seven. Let's keep this game rolling. Question number seven. Category is celebrities. What is the name of the comedian and former late night talk show host known for his extensive car collection, often featured in his recurring web series? All right, question number seven, category celebrities. What is the name of the comedian, former late night talk show host known for his extensive car collection, often featured in his recurring web series? Question number seven, what do you got? Again, the faster you click, the more you score. You got about 30 seconds left. What do you got? Which one is it? It's a, B, C, D, or E, Jimmy Kimmel, Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien, Johnny Carson, David Letterman. What is it? It's one of those five choices, but only one of those five choices. What is the name of that comedian, former late night talk show host, known for his extensive car collection, often featured in that recurring web, in his, in his own recurring web series? You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, question number seven. And yeah. Almost everyone got this one right, too. It was definitely Jay Leno. That's right. Jay Leno in the web series, Jay Leno's Garage. Uh, another one I'm a big fan of. If you don't know it, definitely check that one out. He does all sorts of fun celebrity interviews. I actually watched a Jay Leno's Garage episode where he had a replica of the DeLorean from Back to the Future, and they were driving around, and it was so cool. Uh, so, yeah. Question number seven, Jay Leno, major car enthusiast. That's the seventh question of the game. Number eight, we're going to go on. This is a business question. Category is business. Question number eight, what is the name of America's biggest collectible car auction company that was once featured on its own NBCSN reality television series? Again, what is the name of America's biggest car collectible auction company once featured on its own NBCN, NBCSN reality TV show? Question number eight, category is business. Again, you get 45 seconds. The timer's already started, so the faster you click, the more you score. It is one of these five choices. Is it Meekum, Meacham, Meekrin, Mason, or Macon? One of those five, A, B, C, D, or E. All right, again, question number eight, category is business. You got just under 10 seconds left. Looking for the name of America's biggest collectible car auction company. Actually had their own TV show on NBCSN. Great reality show. Time is up. Live answer results and 62% of y'all guessed A, Meekum Auctions. 62% got it correct. That's right. A, Meekum, M-E-C-U-M, Meekum Auctions. Yeah, that's question number eight. 
Hope you feel great. Question number nine. We're going to keep this game rolling right on. Next, not, next question. This is another movie question for you. Which vehicle was considered to be Steve McQueen's co-star in the classic 1968 film, Bullet? Which vehicle was considered to be Steve McQueen's co-star in the classic 1968 film, Bullet? Question number nine. It's another movie question. Time's going to run out on you if you don't collect soon. Again, is it the Chevy Camaro Super Sport, the Ford Mustang Fastback, the Chevrolet Cor Chevy Corvette Stingray, the Dodge Challenger RT440 Magnum, or the Jaguar E-Type Roadster? Question number nine. Which vehicle was considered to be Steve Mist Queen's co-star in that classic 1968 film, Bullet? Five seconds left. Again, A, B, C, D, or E. Which car was it? And all right, just about two thirds of the room saying the Ford Mustang Fastback, which was the correct answer. Yeah, Ford Mustang Fastback. Yes, the pretty much featured in the movie to the point where it's considered a co-star. <laughs> yeah, the Ford Mustang Fastback. Great, great, great car movie. Scenes going through uh, San Francisco and stuff. Amazing. Definitely check that one out. Uh, I know I'm going to say that a lot, but I always, when I do trivia nights, when I write stuff, when I put these together, I always try to bring up some of my favorite things, and hopefully there's some of your favorites too. So if you guys are enjoying it, you guys are appreciating it, that's what I'm here for. So if you guys are thinking, oh man, this was so much fun, or oh wow, I remember that movie, that was such a great time, and that's that's what it's all about. That's what I'm here for. So appreciate you all being here, appreciate you all playing along. This is question number nine, it's done. Question number 10, we're going to do it again, here we go. Why did the MBTA designate the subway con connecting Braintree and Ashmont to Alwife as the red line? Again, why did the MBTA designate the subway connecting Braintree and Ashmont to Alwife as the red line? Question number 10. This is one of those MBTA, did you know, fun facts. Why did the MBTA designate the Braintree and Ashmont to Alwife line as the red line? So your choice is, again, is it in honor of the city's lobster fishermen? Celtics coach Red Arbach's birthplace is along the route. Boston is the home of the Red Sox. Harvard sports teams are known as the Crimson, or was it named after Red Herring Pond in the Elwife Brook Reservation? Ten seconds left. Why did the Red Line get its name? All right, and just like that, time is up. And the correct answer and only about a third got it right. Harvard's sports team is known as the Crimson. That's right, the Harvard stop along the red line. Yeah, they named it after Harvard University, Harvard sports teams. Uh, yeah, Harvard Crimson. All right, so that was the 10th question, guys. That's the halftime. We're going to take a quick break. And with the quick break, all we're going to do is I have a quick survey question for everybody. It's a very brief survey. It's one question. One question. I want everybody to just answer this uh, very quickly. I'm going to have a pop-up for you in a second. Uh, let me just... Hold on one second, just trying to, I gotta do my interface thing. All right guys, so yeah, I am going to load up one trivia question, sorry, one survey question, please just answer it. Yeah. Um. Nope, I did the wrong button. Sorry, I got that. One second, sorry. I need to warp. Sorry about this. Uh, second time only doing this. I We tested this once the other day. All right, here it is. All right. There we go. All right, so here we go. One quick survey question. Um, yeah, as you transition back to on-site work, what mode of transportation are you planning to use the most? So everybody have the choices there. Get in your votes. Real quick survey question. As you transition back to on-site work, what mode of transportation are you planning to use the most? Are you planning on driving alone? Are you planning on telecommuting? Are you planning on walking, taking a bicycle, using public transportation? Uh, a mix of the combination of, or um, yeah, carpooling. Take a couple minutes. But yeah, just answer the survey question real quick. So yeah, as you transition back to on-site work, what mode of transportation are you planning to use the most? All right, waiting on about 
five more votes. So again, just yeah, real quick. No wrong answer. Quick survey. Just want to know. Getting feedback for transaction. All right, we'll take another 30 seconds. Anybody else out there want to get a couple more votes in? All right, everybody, that's pretty much everyone. We got all the votes in, so thank you very much. Um, and guys, remember, in your transition back to working on site, connect with your transportation coordinator on the best health and safety protocols for each specific mode. Uh, they'll also assist you with any aspect of your commute from planning your best route to finding a ride. So, and again, if you need help getting in touch with your transportation coordinators, drop us a line in the chat or respond in the follow-up email we'll be sending after today's game. Uh, yeah, but that's, thank you for, you know, thank you for participating in the survey. Thanks for your feedback. We're definitely going to be using this for later on. Appreciate that. Let's get back to trivia. All right, so that was question number 10. Let's turn this one up to 11 now. 11th question of the game. Here we go. What is the name of the American filmmaker who wrote, produced, and directed the 1987 John Candy and Steve Martin comedy, Planes, Trains, and automobiles. Question number 11, what is the name of that American filmmaker who wrote, produced, and directed the 1987 John Candy and Steve Martin comedy, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? Question number 11. We're keeping this game rolling. Hope you guys are still with me. Yeah, what is the name of that American filmmaker? It's one of these five. It was it Robert Zemeckis, Martin Scorsese, John Hughes, Jerry Zucker, or John Landis? One of those five definitely did it, but only one of those five. There can be only one correct answer. Hopefully you guys are going to choose it. You got just about 15 seconds to go. Again, what is the name of that American filmmaker wrote, produced, directed the 1987 John Candy and Steve Martin comedy, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? All right, three, two, one. All right, time is up. Points going out. And oh, wow, most of y'all knew this one. Way to be. All right, that's right. 81% saying it. Yeah, John Hughes, John Hughes. That's right, 16 Candles, Home Alone, John Hughes himself. Classic, classic 80s film. And yeah, can't say enough about that one. That one's just an absolute amazing movie. So that's question number 11. We're going to keep this game rolling. We got another MBTA question for you. The MBTA Charlie cards derive their name from a folk song about a man named Charlie that is forever trapped on the Boston subway system. According to the song, why can't Charlie get off the subway? Is it because he insulted the conductor? He can't afford the new five cent exit fare. He didn't pay the fare when he boarded. The county jail was overcrowded or the Red Sox were gonna trade him to New York. A, B, C, D, or E. Again, question number 12. Why can't Charlie get off the subway in the song uh, Charlie on the MTA? Actually, it's funny. That song was actually written as a uh, political song for a progressive, for a progressive mayoral candidate, Walter O'Brien ran for mayor of Boston, and yeah, this song was all about going on with the MTA at the time, and one of these five choices is part of the song. Charlie on the MTA, you got just about five seconds left to go. Why can't Charlie get off the subway according to the song, Charlie on the MTA? All right. And yeah, 75%, 72%, he cannot afford the new five-cent exit fare. That's right. They introduced the fare that not only did you pay to get on the subway, you had to pay to get off the subway. And according to the song, Charlie couldn't afford the nickel to get off the subway, so he was stuck on the train. His wife would bring him sandwiches and hand him to the window whenever he passed by the nearby station. Uh, and yeah, that's where we get the name Charlie card from. So there you go. Points going out to everybody that knew the answer was B. He can't afford the new five-cent exit fare. All right, we're going to keep this game rolling. Lucky number 13. Question number 13 coming at you is, what is the title of the dramatic film starring Denzel Washington as William Whip Whitaker Sr., a troubled airline pilot that miraculously crash lands a plane after a mechanical failure? Question number 13, what is the title of that 2012 dramatic film starring Denzel Washington as William Whip Whitaker, a troubled airline pilot that miraculously crash lands a plane after a mechanical failure? Is it Sully, Top Gun, Maverick, Air Force, Air Force One, Snakes on a Plane, or Flight? Question number 13. Question number 
All right, guys, got about 10 seconds left to go. Question number 13. Look for the name of that movie. You see the picture. There's Denzel in it. Which title? What are we looking for? All right, and 81%, just about four and five, knew the right answer was flight. That's right, flight. Sully, that was Tom Hanks, Air Force One. That was Harrison Ford. So, but also huge movies. Good good guess, though. But yeah, flight. Flight was the correct answer. 81% of y'all getting right. Now, 81% of y'all getting that one right. 45, or sorry, four out of five. Way to be. And that's question number 13. Number 14 is coming next. Now, this is one of those fun fact questions. So again, this one's only worth five points. But again, still worth five points. Good luck to you. Here we go. Fun fact, eCommuter.org is an online platform that provides, and here are your choices. eCommuter.org is an online platform that provides online card pool ride matching, a place to find biking partners and plan the bike friendliest routes, an emergency ride home program. Oh. Commuter Challenge is a commuter calendar to see vehicle travel, pollution, cash savings addings, and or all of the above. Again, eCommuter.org is an online online platform that provides. Sorry, there are six choices on this one: A, B, C, D, or E or F. So, sorry, I didn't realize it. I thought it was going to smush them all together. I didn't realize it was doing this where it does pages. Hopefully, it all appears on your phone at the same time, though. So again, eCommuter.org is an online platform: A, B, C, D, or E. Carpool ride matching, place to find biking partners, plan the bike friendliest routes, emergency ride home program. Time is up. Guys, this one was an easy one. It was all of the above. Yes, all of the above was the correct answer. Yeah, ecommuter.org uh, is Transaction Associates online commuter platform. Everyone today on the session, if you can hear my voice, you have access to ecommuter through your work site or through your residential complex. So register, log in today at ecommuter.org, and you can begin exploring your commute options. Definitely a great resource, definitely a great website. Check that out when you have a second. Again, ecommuter.org. If you can hear my voice, yeah, Transaction has got you covered. They have you, you have access to this resource. So definitely make use of it. That's question number 14. We're going to keep this game rolling right along. Number 15, here's a good one. Transportation trivia coming at you. What is the goal of the safety, safety initiative known as Vision Zero? What is the goal of the safety initiative known as Vision Zero? Is it to eliminate empty seats on buses and trains, to reduce urban highway traffic to zero, to eliminate traffic fatalities and severe injuries, to reduce MBTA fares to zero to cost for local residents, or to eliminate pedestrian paths along city greenways? A, B, C, D, or E, what is the goal of the safety initiative known as Zero Vision? Don't forget, the faster you click, the more you score. Question number 15. What is the goal of that safety initiative known as Vision Zero. All right, five seconds left to go. Time is running out. What is the goal of the safety initiative known as Vision Zero? And yes, 85% getting the right answer. Eliminate traffic fatalities and severe injuries. That's right, Vision Zero. Want to eliminate all traffic fatalities, all severe injuries. City of Boston is part of the program. Um, Yeah. Way to go. If you knew that one, points going out to you. That's question number 15. Question number 16. This is a music question. What is the name of the music group responsible for the 90s hit dance song and perennial jock jam titled Come On and Ride It, The Train? Yeah. What is the name of that music group responsible for that 1990s dance song, perennial jock jam? Can't go to a stadium without hearing it half the time. What is the name of the band, that group that did Come On and Ride, The Train? Is it the Quad City DJs, the Out There Brothers, Joe to see Boys to Men, or the Banga Boys? Question number 16. We've only got four more questions left after this. Hope you guys are feeling, hope you guys are having fun. We are almost done. Question number 16. Again, what is the name of that music group responsible for the 1990s hit dance song, Come On and Ride It, The Train? You've got 10 seconds left to pick an answer. Time is running out. All right, three, two, and one time is up. And 70% knowing that's right. Come on and ride that choo-choo. It was the Quad City DJs. Yeah, Quad City DJs. That's a picture of them. That's right, Quad City DJs. Come on and ride the train. Now you know, and that's trivia. That's what it's all about. That's question number 16. Question number 17. Here's another transportation trivia for you. 
What year did the first subway in America, then known as the Tremont Street Subway, first open? That's right. What year did the first subway in America, then known as the Tremont Street Subway, first open? It's one of these five choices. Was it 1925, 1954, 1897, 1872, or 1910? What year did the first subway in America, then known as the Tremont Street Subway, first open? All right, guys, just about 15 seconds. What year did the first subway in America, then known as the Tremont Street Subway, first open? Of course, we know it later became the MTA, then the MBTA. Still ride it today. Hey, what year did it open, though? First subway in America. What year? A, B, C, D, or E? 1925, 1954, 1897, 1872, 1910. Points going out. If you knew this one was 1897. That's right. 1897 was the answer. Way to be if you got that one right. And, yeah, that was question 17 all right this is the last fun fact question coming at you for five point scenario here we go scenario if you carpool to work but now your supervisor asked you to work late causing you to miss your ride home what can you do you've carpooled to work now your supervisor has asked you to work late causing you to miss your ride home what can you do can you walk home should you use an emergency ride home should you pay for a taxi or ride share or should you sleep at work till the next day which one is the best choice here You've carpooled to work, but now your supervisor has asked you to work late, causing you to miss your ride home. What can you do? Question number 18. All right, time is just about up again. This is only a five-pointer, not a big one. You're carpooled to work. Now your supervisor has asked you to work late, causing you to miss your ride home. What can you do? All right, time is up and best answer here is to be use an emergency ride home. As a transaction association's client or TMA member organization, you're covered by emergency ride home program. So through ARH, you're guaranteed transportation home either via Lyft taxi or a rental car at no cost to you. And if um yeah, and if you have an emergency on a day where you have carpooled, van pulled, if you take in public transit, if you biked or walked to work. So for details on how to access this program, register or log in at ecommuter.org, the website I mentioned before, and click the ERH tab at the top. So yeah, ERH, Emergency Ride Home. Great, you're definitely a great resource to have. Definitely want to know more about that. Go to ecommuter.org. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat or follow up, respond to the follow-up email that we'll be sending later. All right, that was question number 18. There are two questions left, 19 and 20. This is it. These are the ones worth all the money, 19 and 20. Last two questions. 19 is a music question. What is the name of the trio who released the hit single, I'm Your Captain, Closer to Home, in 1970? Question number 19. What is the name of the trio who released the hit single, I'm Your Captain, Closer to Home, in 1970? A, B, C, D, or E, Tower of Power, Grand Funk Railroad, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Cool in the Gang, or the Ohio Players. What do you got for me? I'm Your Captain, Closer to Home, hit single from 1970. What is the name of the trio? What is the name of the group? Faster you click, the more you score. All right, second to last question of the night. Question number 19. What is the name of the trio who released the hit single, I'm Your Captain, Closer to Home, in 1970? You got just under 10 seconds, five seconds left to go. All right, and time is up, and... Just about everybody getting the right answer. That's right, Grand Funk Railroad, GFR. And like I said at the beginning, if you didn't know an answer, hey, it's transportation trivia. Railroad, of course, that was going to be the right answer. Yeah, points going out to anybody and everybody. If you knew Grand Funk Railroad, GFR, yeah, that's right. Way to be on question number 19. Okay, everybody, this is it. The final question, the last one of the game. Question number 20, here it is. Last question, hope you're ready for it. Which automobile manufacturer released a series of short films featuring their vehicles in 2001 and 2002, serving as the inspiration for the action thriller The Transporter, starring Jason Statham? Again, which automobile manufacturer released a series of short films featuring their vehicles in 2001 and 2002, serving as the inspiration for the action thriller The Transporter, starring Jason Statham? Was it Chevy slash GM, Aston Martin, Lamborghini, BMW, or Toyota? A, B, C, or D, E, or E, A, B, C, D, or E, you've got 30 seconds left. 
This is it. Final question. This one's worth the most points. All right, just about 10 seconds left to go. This is it. This is the last question. Get your last answer in. Score those last points. Which manufacturer released a series of short films featuring their vehicles in 2001, 2002, served as the inspiration for the action thriller, The Transporter, starring Jason Statham? And all right, 71% knew the right answer this time around was, in fact, Bavarian Motor Works or BMW for short. Yeah, BMW. All right, that's it. That was question number 20. That was the last question of the game. So with that said, let us show the leaderboard. And today's big winner with 18 of 20 questions answered correctly, 3,660 points overall. It is Wes. Congratulations, Wes. In second place, we've got Ryan. In third place, we've got Bennett. Wes, Ryan, Bennett, you guys are all prize winners. Um, yeah, way to be awesome. Way to score some points. Also got to give a shout out. That is a solid top 10. That is a really close game. Oh man, this was awesome. Wes, congratulations. 3,660 points. You are the big winner. You are so smart. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Ryan Bennett D, way to be. I mean, yeah, guys, that's it. That's been the game on behalf of Transaction Associates. I just want to say thank you for playing. I hope you had as much fun playing as I do hosting. Again, like they mentioned, I do this Tuesdays through Thursday, Tuesdays through Fridays, 8.30 p.m. on Twitch TV dash SMRT Trivia. Um, yeah, free games to play trivia games. Just go online, play from your phone just like this. I have all the games where you just click on the screen. Also good times. But enough about me and self-promotion. Um, Melissa, Kelly, if you guys want to pop in, take over and kind of wrap this all up. Okay. Thank you so much, Rob. That was a blast. It was no really problem. Thank you. Thank Great you so question. much for having me. And congratulations to our winners. So the first place winner gets a $100 gift card. Second place, 50 third place $30 gift card and we will also be doing a random drawing for um with with everybody that participated today so if you are a winner we will be emailing you sh very shortly after this webinar with your um with your prize so thanks everyone for joining us if you have any questions uh again i'm melissa zampatella you can reach out to me at mzampatella at transactionassoce.com so thanks again for joining us. Hope you had fun and um, stay tuned for our upcoming webinars. We'll be in touch. Have a great thanks day. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.